What up, everybody? It's the Chakra Doctor. Put your money where your mouth is. June 11, 2022, Houston, Texas. All-day healing event from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. Private sessions, group sessions. Positive food, positive music, positive people. The link is in the description of this video, and you can call the number in the flyer for more information. Welcome to the Hip Hop Bicycle Evolution Calendar from Precision Bikes, the bicycle with the most gravitational advantage. Our bikes crank out more torque per range than any conventional bicycle. Our 2022 or 2023 calendars keep you informed about the latest published underground hip hop bicycle technology, which can be purchased through our website at www.hiphopbicycles.com. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Vile Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell, and if you're not subscribed to Vile Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. All right, so Fat Joe, shout out to Fat Joe. He was on Matt Hoffa's podcast. Shout out to Matt Hoffa. And first of all, let me say this. I love Fat Joe being interviewed, not doing the interviews himself. But needless to say, he was on Matt Hoffa's podcast yesterday talking about a variety of things and one thing that came up was Takashi 69 and if you remember a couple years ago Fat Joe actually did an interview with 69 I believe it was on title and he was talking to him when he was kind of getting into his rise of fame going crazy obviously out here pushing buttons agitating doing what 69 does and Fat Joe at the time was warning him to be careful because although this gimmick that you have is successful people behind the scenes aka the goddamn ops the feds are watching and they will come and get you well, obviously 6ix9ine didn't take heed to that advice at the time he got caught up with the feds read it and the rest is history well fat joe was asked a question about that very conversation about his help with 6ix9ine and how he feels about 6ix9ine now and fat joe did not hold back listen to what fat joe had to say about 6ix9ine Let's hear 6 ix response, sure and then you'll get my one, too. After warning Takashi, because I saw it when you sat with him, and yeah. I was like, Joe is trying to put him on right now, and I'm going to just be honest it. with you. Damn. You went there? Yeah, I went there. This nigga's a sucker. Mm. Oh. He's a pussy, a sucker, a bitch. So let me get yo. Okay. Pop another bottle right there. <laughs> no, I ain't drink. Play. I'm dead sober. Yeah. 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 No, I'm dead sober. This dude here, this type of shit, this nigga doing, I'm convinced he wanna die. I don't yeah. wish it on him or nothing like that, but I'm convinced he's miserable he, in his body. Got he can't look in the mirror. Nah, I don't know if he gotta be. He's he a lot of niggas. He just Joe, got knocked out. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, Joe. I'm not even nah, he not, I'm not saying be. not everybody. Nah. Some niggas snitch for a living. Mm, Some yeah. nigga snitch on their mother. He yeah, got that. Hold on. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Like, I'm t you not listening to me. Of, of like, yo, this kid talks so much shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love it. Nah, I know. Okay, so if we know 6ix9ine, he wasn't going to hold his tongue to that. He went on to TMZ and said this. Fat Joe is jealous of 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine has done more in his young career than Fat Joe has ever done in his long career. Fat Joe said I was miserable and want to die. Fat Joe is miserable and wants to die because Fat Joe doesn't have half of what 6ix9ine has in money and cars fat joe said i'm not a gangster it was all for promotion that's fake news what's his proof i ever said that there's no proof he's lying what do we think about this now we all know whether he said it or not i believe i believe he said it in, in maybe not outright said it the way that fat joe put it but he's definitely alluded to the fact that what he's doing is for show this is why he dresses in red this is why he dresses in blue and eventually he'll dress in gold and whatever other color he can monetize this is what 6ix9ine does and people respond to it so at this point who am i to tell him to stop even though i've said to stop a million damn times now with all due respect fat joe was asked a question fat joe responded to the question he did not bring 6ix9ine up he responded to a question but i want to know what y'all think about this is fat joe jealous of 6ix9ine. I think that's absolutely ludicrous. I think that's ridiculous. But hey, I'm going to ask the question. Do you think Fat Joe is jealous of 6ix9ine? What do you think about Fat Joe's comments towards 6ix9ine? What do you think Fat Joe kind of trying to put his arm around the young dude and be like a big brother to him early on only for it to bite him in his ass? What do y'all think about everything going on right now 
in hip hop regarding 6 9 and the OGs that are responding to him. Let me know right now in the comment section. Definitely appreciate y'all. Also, go to my official website, vhiphopnews.com, the official website of Viral Hip Hop News for all news stories that you won't get to see here on YouTube. You will see it covered on the website. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Till next time, till next story, Sam Ant, CEO of the brand. Checking out. Love y'all. Peace.